much. Um, to start with, I would like to uh, share my story. Uh, Ravi said already a little bit, but um, I will start uh, with introducing myself and sharing a little bit about myself. Um, I have nothing prepared because originally um, <laughs> last week um, I booked my mentoring session with Ravi and um, I arrived for my mentoring session and this just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's a massive surprise. I um, just go a little bit of a freestyle. But, um, I finished uh, high school in, in the Czech Republic and um, I used to be um, very, very introverted, very shy um, person. I was never a part of any group. Um, I always felt that, um, um, that I'm, I'm not enough and um, I, didn't, I, was, I wasn't receiving any support from my parents, um, from my friends. I never really had too many friends because I, I didn't know how to, how to socialize and how to, um, how to interact with people. Um, and so it was a little bit of a challenging time, but um, everybody goes through that. That's um, that's that's in a, in, a, in, a human na in human nature. Um, and when I uh, when I finished my high school, I was kind of deciding what to do with my life. So um, I was thinking I will follow my father's path um, because my father is a captain on the um, on the on the river ship. He's uh, transporting like big generators and stones and all sorts of stuff. Um, so it was originally my plan. So um, I finished. Uh, I finished my high school, and um, I was working for my dad um, for um, approximately five months. Um, saved up some money, and um, I had an idea in my mind that I would like to um, travel the world. Um, at that point, I didn't really know where to go. Um, I just knew that I want to go somewhere where I will learn English and um, where I will start a new life and leave all the darkness I went through um, back home. Um, and only go back home as a, for for a holiday. So um, I thought, um, okay, this is my plan. And when I told my parents, um, they just thought I'm nuts, and um, <laughs> they they just they just said it's uh, it's it's absolutely impossible for me to do that because if I don't speak anything in English, don't even have booked in any accommodation, um, and have no plan, um, that how 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 am I imagining uh, this is all going to happen without any plan? So I was like, well, I don't really have any plan, but I just want to follow my heart because I always felt that um, that is the right way to do. Um, and so that's, that, that's what I did. So uh, one beautiful day, I, was, I finished, uh, finished work for my father and um, I uh, went to the travel agency and um, got my working holiday visa for New Zealand. Um, the reason why I decided to, for, to go to New Zealand was because I did my research and originally I wanted to go uh, to the USA or um, Australia, but it was a little bit more challenging to get a visa. I would have to um, study to actually live there. Um, and for New Zealand, I was able to get a working holiday visa, which allowed me to stay in the country, um, travel around, and make some money. So I thought it was a fantastic opportunity. Um, so, so that's what I did. Uh, from the money I saved up, I booked my flights, um, and um, I just came home with the with flights and the receipt printed out and uh, showed to my parents, they nearly collapsed. Um, <laughs> but, um, that was already done. It was already, um, I was 18, mm -hmm. freshly. Um, so um, that was already done. They couldn't do a lot about, about it. So um, my, dad, my dad sort of uh, started, to, started to support me. Uh, my mom, she was still against it, absolutely. She just couldn't because she, um, like we all grow up in social conditioning and we are um, conditioned by, um, by our parents. Everybody tells us what to do. At school, everybody tells us be quiet. You can't do you can't do big things. You need to do you need to follow uh, the path that everybody else is following. You know, um, go to school, find a real job, and um, just do what everybody else is doing, uh, which is basically being um, another sheep in this world, right? Um, and so I kind of felt um, that that pressure from from uh, my mama, unfortunately. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to do what I what I want to do myself. I can't listen even to my parents. Um, so the day came, it was the 2nd of August uh, 2013 and um, I've left the Czech Republic with my backpack and um, I went through uh, Taiwan where I had a um, break on the, on the airport for 18 hours, so I was 18 hours in the airport and I didn't have a visa uh, to go to leave the airport so I had to actually wait there and it was, it was, it was so much fun, it was so much like um, adventure. Um, I used all the time to actually like learn English so I had an offline vocabulary in my phone and um, I was uh, learning new words and trying to remember them and try to talk talking to people and um, sort of improving myself from the very beginning. So then I um, got to New Zealand 
and I uh, was excited that my back arrived and everything went fine, <laughs> uh, so I didn't have to um, go through um, more challenging times. And so um, I, I got to the country, um, got out of the airport and was thinking, shit, what am I going to do now? <laughs> um, so I, uh, so I, um, I went to the bus station and um, caught the bus and um, um, on, the way, on the way to the city um, I just um, transferred in my offline vocabulary how to get to the backpacker so there was um, like a nice old lady sitting in front of me so I just tapped her on the shoulder and asked her like um, where, where can I stay. So I got, um, I lived uh, for the first four months um, in um, ACB backpacker on Queen Street, um, and um, I was sort of the first four months, like the first two months, I was just kind of like enjoying myself. As I said, I had no plan, so I wasn't really trying to search for any job. Um, I was just like partying and learning English and sort of just enjoying myself. And uh, then I realized I ran out of money, so I really need some job. <laughs> there, is a, there is a big lesson learned, never run out of money first and then think what to do. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so that's what happened, but like all these things, uh, that's, that's something we all learn from, right? So, um, so then I, um, I uh, had a, there, there was like a, a Kiwi um, old man um, living, living um, at the same room as I did and he, he said that He's got a friend who, who owns um, a building company, so he asked me if I can uh, be, be a labor uh, working for him. So um, that, that, all, that all went ahead. I uh, was doing a building job for, um, for, for about four months, and uh, luckily enough I had the opportunity to live at the same uh, house where we were working. The owners were fine with that, which means I, had not, I didn't have to pay any rent. So uh, all my money I have saved. After about four months, um, I bought my first camper van and I decided to travel and um, on my travel do some uh, season work. So um, that's what I did. I bought a camper van and um, drove to South Island. And um, I was traveling around South Island for a few months and um, did some season work, did a cherry picking, uh, things like that. Um, met some ama many amazing people. And um, then uh, I was getting short of money again, so I settled in Christchurch because uh, a lot of people who I met on my travels were saying that there is a lot of work in Christchurch. Um, so I did that and um, I was doing laboring for all sorts of different companies like, uh, like furniture removal and, and, um, and all that. Um, and then I got a phone call from uh, my workmate uh, who I did the buildings here in Auckland. And he said, look, I finished the buildings and uh, I'm in the asbestos industry now. And um, I, um, I got my qualification done and uh, I'm looking for a new worker. So I was really happy with you as a worker. So would you be keen for a full-time job? Well, luckily enough, um, at that time, I, um, as I said, was running out of money. And my visa was running out as well. So I thought what an amazing opportunity to get my visa and um, have my first full-time job. So um, uh, I met um, him in Christchurch, did all my courses and started to work um, um, as a labor doing asbestos removal. Um, after, after about uh, 12 months doing that, it was actually more, it was about 16 months doing that, um, I had enough experience and um, I got offered that I can do my qualification and um, be, be supervisor so I can like, uh, have my own crew and, and um, have a little bit more money as well. So um, I thought, why not? Let's do it. So um, I did my qualification. There was like so many like different words words that like are included in asbestos that I had no idea how to pronounce because I <laughs> hardly spoke like the basic English. So it's just like studying asbestos stuff and like the English it was just like took a long time. But I uh, got it all done, and um, that's what happened. I started uh, as a supervisor and did it uh, for another year, and then uh, we moved up here to Auckland. And um, I became a manager because my boss, we were contracting to a different company in Christchurch, but we, when we moved to Auckland, um, he opened his own business. So I started as a manager in the company, and um, um, basically that's what I do um, until now. Um, I don't know when did I start next. It's about six, uh, six months from, from, from now. I, um, I knew about Max. Um, uh, from, from the internet, um, on, on Facebook, and I uh, met uh, Tony Versick, uh, who is a Mexican graduate as well. I met him in, um, in Florida when I was on, on the seminar. 
uh, for a week, so that was the very, very next next person I met. In America? And, um, in America, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was very lucky. Um, he's, he's in Australia now. Um, so I met him and um, I was, at that time I knew I have a massive passion for fitness. So um, I, met, I met Tony and I had a chat with him and um, um, I asked him like where did you do your qualification and tell me about Tell me more about that, and he said he 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 studied here, and um, I saw I saw on him the results, um, how successful he was. Like he had many clients, and he was he he was a great person, you know. Like he had a great personality, and I saw I saw that um, obviously he's got a he's got a, he's got a good training. So um, that was the that was the first big Im Im impression I got about Max, and then um, I got back to America, and I was, I still had it in, in the back of my um, of, of my head. And then uh, I met Jared in uh, Lesnos, Auckland City, um, through um, another German guy, which is another story now. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, so uh, we, we, we had a chat, and um, I asked Jared, what do you do? He's like, I'm a personal trainer. And um, I was like, what did you do your qualification? He was like, Max. I was like, well, there's a second guy now. Uh -huh. um, and um, it was exactly the same thing, you know. I, um, I um, Jared shared his story, how he how he finished Max and uh, what he's doing now, and I thought, wow, that's that's fantastic. That's I really really like that. So um, so I had it um, on the front of my head. <laughs> so it was it was um, it was like I was I was very strongly thinking about um, about this college, and so one day I decided to apply and um, finished uh, finished my program um, in five months, um, got qualified and. Um, it's it's been about a month now where I did my uh, final uh, personal training evaluation and then uh, so it was on Saturday and then Sunday I had my cruise ship interview so it was a big weekend. <laughs> luckily, luckily I fought past it also. I'm really really grateful about that. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to uh, share a massive gratitude to Cayman and Rovi. Um, they have been the best mentors in my life and uh, they have changed my life in so many ways. Uh, from the very small shine to the person I, I used to be. It's um, I you know became more confident and um, everything everything in my life improved and I'm um, really really grateful about that um, and um, I'm also grateful for all the people I've met um, through my Max journey as well. Um, you all are amazing people who have massive goals and uh, I really really respect each of you and um, I really wish you the best of luck in the future and um, let's just support each other and be the best fitness professionals in the world. That's right. <laughs>